Hello, this is RSDKY, the Android guy. Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you the benchmark for the Galaxy S3 US version on T-Mobile. So, let's see how this one stacks up. really do like that unlocking. I don't know, something actually kind of fun about it. Alright, so as always, we're going to go on Quadrant Standard and then 2-2. So we'll go over these two and see how they rank up. And first I'll, actually I'll show you system info after the first uh, benchmark. Alright. And we'll see how this one goes. It does have an S4 processor, so it's only a dual core. However, it has uh, ranked above um, a lot of the Tegra 3 uh, processors out there, uh, which is a quad core. So it's still pretty uh, well off, uh, definitely. Let me it up so you can see the frame for a second. And uh, definitely has stood against other competitors. The main thing is that it should probably kill in the memory section because it is uh, the only device probably on these benchmark tests that does have two gigs of RAM. So it'll probably be better than anything else when it comes to benchmarks. On RAM, of course. DNA. And just to reiterate, uh, while these tests are going, I just want to let you guys, uh, remind you guys that if you do have anything you want to see on this device, definitely let me know, okay? Alright. Now, how does it stack up? Oops, a little bit too close. It is at the very top. So, you saw it here, guys. It actually uh, topples both uh, the One X and the Transformer Prime. So, when we say this is a hell of a phone, it's better than the best tablet out on the market. So yeah, it pretty it's pretty much the top thing going. Um, and again, you can see the RAM just killed everything. It's It looks like more than double compared to most uh, on the testing. So really good overall. Um, the CPU is you know decent, uh, better than everything else except for the One X and the Prime on these tests. Um, and everything else has just uh, moved really well along. Um, so. That's it. Now let me show you the system info because I know a lot of you guys asked me about that. So let me zoom out a little bit just so you can see. And there's the CPU. Of course, it's ARM version 7 and the insane amount of memory. All right. And oops, of course, sorry, GPU, sorry. Um, and definitely, you know, really good resolution, frame rate, everything. And there you are. All right. Now let's check out the N22. Bunny rabbit. All right. And let's start this test. T2 generally takes a little bit longer sometimes. We'll see how long it takes. Now this one should score less than the One X and the um, Prime on this one, simply for the fact that uh, and Tutu does use all quad, all four processors to the fullest, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, generally, it will score higher than a dual core just for that reason, of course. It'll be interesting to see how much the memory helps it out, but we'll see how it compares to the uh, Prime and the One X. Uh, the One X on this, of course, is the international version. Uh, on the benchmark test, not the uh, US version, which is a lot slower. When it comes to benchmark test again, not necessarily slower of phone because the One X is really fast. Alright, almost through with the CPU test. And of course, everyone's favorite part of this is the bouncing androids. We all love the bouncing androids. We've discussed this before. The bouncing androids are awesome. And go fast. Fast, fast. Ah, there you go. Let me zoom out a little bit for you guys. So when the frames per second comes along, you can see it better. There you go. So yeah guys, what questions do you have about the Galaxy S3? Are you trying to see it compared to certain phones? 
which I will try my best. Uh, these, uh, this one isn't even mine. It's a friend, so he let me borrow it. So um, definitely, any questions you have, you know, let me know. I'll try my best to compare it to other phones and to compare it to any device you wanted to, as well as any feature you want to see. And it's going through these frames uh, really well off, as you can see here. No lag or anything when it comes to the graphics. Which, of course, I will be doing a gaming review. I know that's one of the things you guys are anxious for. There will be a gaming review. It will come shortly, don't worry. And just finishing up. It's funny that the SD is one of the longest tests. Alright, submit that. Check it out. All right, so in this test, we can see. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So on this test, we can see the device scored above the Note, the Nexus, the S2, and everything else, uh, but it did not score above the Prime by far. So again, uh, one of the things that this test does is, uh, I believe it does just use the full quad core, so that's why that part is so huge in comparison, which is the CPU. Um, so just definitely compare, it, just definitely a difference in between the two. Other than that, um, really good overall score, definitely better than any phone. And of course on Quadrant, destroyed the Prime and the uh, One X. So uh, really good overall. And definitely um, tells you pretty much everything you need to know. If you guys have any other questions, you know, definitely let me know. Alright guys, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.